Hi, I'm Kay Dean, and this is Fake Review Watch. The radio program Reveal aired a show in September on NPR featuring my research into fake review fraud. One of the businesses featured in that show was Vafai Dermatology, operated by Dr. Janet Vafai, with clinics in Los Angeles and Malibu. Her practice was one of the first businesses I found to be fake in reviews. I established that Dr. Vafai had office staff on Facebook soliciting for fake reviews, and that Dr. Fafai herself was on Facebook trading reviews for her practice. It turned out Dr. Fafai was a prolific faker. Today I'm going to show you examples of traded reviews by Fafai on Yelp, Google, Facebook, Thumbtack, Vitals, and Health Grades. We'll start by looking at a traded Yelp review by Dr. Fafai's office staff. Perusing Facebook review exchange groups, I noticed someone named Shanice Lazama doing a lot of soliciting for Yelp, Google, and Facebook review exchanges. Here is one of her sample posts in the Yelp Review Exchange Facebook group. I looked at her Facebook profile. The top photo here is from Shanice Lazama's Facebook page and includes a comment from Dr. Janet Vafai. Below is the same photo from Vafai Dermatology's Facebook page. I had now established that Lazama works for Vafai Dermatology. I confirmed on the Medical Board of California's website that Dr. Janet Vafai is a licensed physician. Going back to Lazama's Facebook profile, notice the bottom photo I've highlighted. This is the same photo for Shanice M. on Yelp, so this is Lazama's Yelp profile. I'll show you an example of one of Lazama's many traded Yelp reviews on behalf of Vafai Dermatology. According to her LinkedIn profile, Sophie Juster is founder of From English to French, a language school in San Diego. Here is Juster in a Facebook review exchange group asking to exchange reviews. Juster was using the Yelp profile Sophie J. San Diego. She connected with Lazama because here are their traded Yelp reviews, both dated February 24, 2018. I established that Shanice Lazama was trading Yelp and Google reviews for her employer, Vafai Dermatology. In December of 2018, however, I saw Dr. Vafai herself on Facebook soliciting for review trades. I tracked 23 completed fake review trades made by Vafai herself in December and January alone. I'll show you a few. This is Janet Vafai's Facebook profile page, noting that she has a dermatology practice. And here's Dr. Vafai in a Facebook review exchange group offering that she's, quote, here to help. Through analyzing multiple trades, I established that Dr. Vafai was using this Yelp profile, Karen C., to provide fake Yelp reviews in exchange for reviews of her own practice. She also traded Google reviews using a profile with her real name. The first trade I'll show you was with Tay Robinson of Cass Experience a hair and makeup artist. Here's Robinson seeking review exchanges with women. This is a Google review Dr. Fafai gave Cass experience. I had an amazing experience with Tay's team. They arrived on time, were very professional, and so pretty themselves. I love everything about my hair and makeup. I can't complain about anything. And here's Karen C's Yelp review of Cass experience given December 24th, 2018. Note, the text is almost identical to that of Fafai's Google review. In return, Robinson provided this Google review of Fafai Dermatology shown above and the Yelp review below using almost the identical text. The Yelp review was provided December 24th, the same date as Karen C's review of Cass experience. Here we see Eli Shareem soliciting for Yelp review trades on Facebook. He says that he does marketing for a solar company. Note an Andy Nguyen and Janet Vafai are in the message thread. Vafai traded reviews with both Shareem and Nguyen. Let's take a look at the traded reviews, starting with Andy Nguyen. Andy Nguyen works at T-Zone in San Jose, according to his Facebook profile. Here's Nguyen asking to swap Yelp reviews on Facebook. First, let's take a look at Fafai's fake Google review of T-Zone. Notice she says it's a two-minute walk away. 
I don't know how she does the 300 plus miles from Los Angeles to San Jose on foot in two minutes. Using the Yelp profile Karen C. Fafai provided this fake Yelp review for T-Zone on December 21, 2018, using the identical text as in her Google review. Using the Yelp profile Andy M. San Jose, Nguyen provided Vafai Dermatology this fake Yelp review on the same day, December 21, 2018. Remember Eli Shireen? The individual soliciting for review trades that drew a response from both Janet Fafai and Annie Nguyen. He is a marketing agent for Best Solar Power, according to his Facebook profile. On Christmas Day, Dr. Fafai provided this fake Yelp review for Best Solar Power in Encino. Using the Yelp profile Eli S., Shireen repaid the favor by providing this fake Yelp review to Fafai Dermatology, also on Christmas Day. I just showed you Dr. Fafai trading for Yelp and Google reviews. She's also trading for fake Facebook, Vitals, and Health Grades reviews. According to the Better Business Bureau, John Ballion is owner of Amelia's Home Inspection in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. He's also a member of multiple Facebook review trading groups. Let's take a look at the traded Facebook reviews by Dr. Fafai and John Ballion that took place on December 23, 2018. Above, you see Dr. Fafai's fake Facebook review for Amelia's Home Inspection. Below is Ballion's fake Facebook review for Fafai Dermatology. So, Southern Californian Fafai supposedly used a Wisconsin home inspector, and Ballion supposedly flew to Los Angeles to have a mole removed. Plus, the reviews just happened to be posted the same day. They also traded Yelp reviews as well. Next, we have Henry Noblot, founder of Spread Upon, according to his Facebook profile. He's also a member of multiple review trading Facebook groups. Let's take a look at his traded reviews with Dr. Fafai. Above, we see Noblot provided Fafai Dermatology a Facebook review on December 22, 2018. Below, you see that Noblot also provided Fafai Dermatology a Yelp review the same day using the profile Henry R. of Miami. The text is identical as that in his Facebook review. On the same day, Noblot also provided Vafai Dermatology this fake vitals review, using the identical text as in his Yelp and Facebook reviews. Dr. Vafai repaid the favor by providing spread upon this thumbtack review on the same day, using the profile Janet V. Note that she says that she owns a dermatologist practice in Los Angeles. Using her Karen C. Yelp profile, Fafai provided spread upon this Yelp review on the same day, using the identical text as in her thumbtack review. Dr. Fafai's next trading partner is Brandon Richards, CEO and founder of Seattle Taekwondo. Richards is another prolific faker, and I've done a separate video on him. Richards is a member of multiple Facebook review trading groups. This is one of his many solicitations on Facebook. Here is a January 11, 2019 Facebook review that Richards provided Vafai Dermatology. Richards also provided Vafai Dermatology a fake health grades review the same day. In return, Dr. Vafai gave Seattle Taekwondo this Facebook review and this Google review. And finally, before you trust this Facebook review by Raj Kishore, who claims Dr. Fafai changed his life, keep in mind that Kishore is a marketing analyst living in Delhi, India, and is a member of multiple Facebook review trading groups. By the way, that's not the only online marketer Dr. Fafai has been in contact with. In addition to trading for fake reviews, she's also worked with review brokers such as N here to buy fake reviews. Here's N explaining what he does. He's got Yelp reviews for sale from over 300 Yelpers in his network. I'm identifying him only as N because he was interviewed anonymously in the Reveal story on fake review fraud. Reveal also interviewed a Yelp elite member named Tiffany who admitted to being paid through an online review broker to post a fake review for Dr. Fafai. 
Yelp could see the fraudulent review history of Dr. Fafai's Karen C. Yelp profile. And in 2019, Yelp removed that profile for violating their terms of service. And you might wonder, well, what happened to the businesses that received fake reviews from that Karen C. Yelp profile? Yelp doesn't tell consumers anything about that. They hide that information from the public. But Dr. Fafai wasn't finished on Yelp. Again, this is the Yelp profile used by Dr. Fafai that Yelp removed. I determined, though, that Dr. Fafai started using the Yelp profile Selna T to replace some of the reviews Yelp had removed. Let me show you how I figured it out. Above, you see a review by Fafai for Jersey Salon using her Karen C. profile left on January 3rd, 2017. Below, using the profile Selna T, Fafai provided the exact same review on May 28th, 2019. Above, we see a review of the five provided Richland and Associates on November 21st, 2018, using her Karen C. profile. Below, using the Selna T. profile, the five provided nearly the same review on August 27th, 2019. Here, we see a negative review the five wrote for a neurologist on October 20th, 2018. The five must really dislike this doctor because here is the same review with an update by Selna T left on May 30th, 2019. So now I'm certain that Dr. Fafai has started using the Yelp profile Selna T to replace the Karen C profile Yelp removed due to fraudulent activity. Fafai got right back to work trading for fake Yelp reviews and I'll show you one example of a traded review with a Florida dental practice. This is Melissa Kay's Facebook profile. It says that she is the office manager at Dental Implants Today, which is located in Venice, Florida. Melissa Kay is also a member of multiple Facebook review exchange groups. Using the Yelp profile Melissa Kay, here she is providing Vafai Dermatology a five-star Yelp review on January 19th, 2020. And on the exact same day, Dr. Fafai returns the favor by giving Dental Implants Today a five-star Yelp review using her Selna T profile. I'd like to point out one more questionable practice by Dr. Fafai involving her reviews of other businesses. Here's a one-star Yelp review Dr. Fafai gave nearby West Hills Dermatology using her profile Selna T. Is this a case of Dr. Fafai giving a bad review to a competitor? You've seen just a portion of the evidence I've compiled of Dr. Fafai faking her reviews on Yelp, Google, Facebook, Vitals, and Health Grades. I'm a lone investigator, and if I can see this fraud, certainly these tech companies can too. Yet, if you visit Dr. Fafai's business pages on these sites, here's what you see. Dr. Fafai's Los Angeles clinic has a four-star rating on Yelp, and her Malibu clinic rates four and a half stars. No warning to consumers about Dr. Fafai faking her reviews. On Google, Fafai's Los Angeles clinic rates 4.6 stars, and her Malibu clinic gets 4.9 stars. Dr. Fafai gets 4.8 stars on Vitals, and below she gets four and a half stars on Health Grades. None of these sites tell you anything about how Dr. Fafai is gaming their platforms. Online review sites are rife with fraudulent reviews and no one is doing anything about it. The tech companies don't care because they're profiting and are protected against liability by outdated legislation. Our regulators and consumer protectors twiddle their thumbs while millions of consumers are duped and thousands of honest businesses are harmed by unfair competition. It's time for Congress, consumer protection agencies like the FTC and medical boards and attorneys general to act to stop fake review fraud.